Gorg, thank you so much for being the most profound spiritual influence on my life, uh, for taking me to a, a place in my faith life that I never thought I could be. Thanks for wonderful, wonderful service to this church, to the people of this church, to humanity overall. God bless. Good luck. Herb Tenning, the, the appliance that you or, uh, installed back in 1997, uh, at that installation, it, you likened it to a refrigerator, but it worked out fine. Uh, we, in your sermon, after, after the installation, you, you revealed a lot of things about me, things that I'm interested in, what I do, and then you ended up the sermon by saying that I was quirky, and Adeline loved that. She, she made sure she got a copy of that sermon. I'm, I'm really going to miss you. I enjoyed working with you as a deacon. You, you were sensitive. You, you took care of my mother when she was interred. You took care of my sweetheart Adeline when she was interred. I'm really going to miss you, and I want you to go in with God, be well, and enjoy life now that you're getting a new, create, new career, as I hope we'll still have time to go down to Helmets for lunch. I know I owe one to you and, and, and Judy, so be well and take care. Oh. Dear Cork, on behalf of myself and Cecil, we'd like to wish you all the best. I remember when I first came to worship at St. Stephen's, um, after a couple of services, I went home and I said to Cecil that um, you asked for him. And he said to me, me? I said, yes, he asked for you by name. So I think that is just testament to how personalized you are as a rector and how welcomed you have made us feel while you've been here, or while we've been here with you for the last three and a half years. Again, congratulations and good luck on your retirement to you and Judy. I'm sure they were, they've been hard on you, but they've been remarkably easy on most of us because of your influence and, and uh, affection for the process. Thanks, thanks for bringing the congregation to be such an inclusive community. Thanks for Amen. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. Yeah. 
going to miss his high five? What? Yes. We are going to miss your high five. Can you do a simulation of a high five together? <laughs> Goodbye, Father Cork. We'll miss you. One go. Goodbye, Cork. We'll miss you. Bye, Cork. We'll miss you. Remember when he was only this big? Look at him now. Ooh. Been born in 17, almost 17 years. He's only been around for 11. Thanks for everything. See you. Bye. I just want to recall the long association with Cork and what he has done for the church. I recall my wife and I welcoming him when he first was visiting and trying to decide whether to come to St. Stephen's. And for all our well-being, he came to St. Stephen's. He welcomed people to the church. New people have come to the church. He welcomed new ideas for the activities of the church. And he's led us all to lead the church out into the outer community and the outer world. And together we've all become and remain a united community. Thanks to you, Cork. Hi, hi, Cork. Thanks for everything you've done for us in the past 12, 12 13 years. <laughs> you, though, we will dearly, dearly miss you. You know what? We will follow you wherever you go. <laughs> we will follow you. How do you say this? Bye, Cork. Good luck. Um, see you around. Fun. Yeah. Okay. We knew Cork, or my husband knew Cork, from college. So we were surprised when Dan and I read in the local paper that Cornelius Tarpley was moving to town. I went then going to another church, but we started coming here, and Dan. Jewish came with me to support Cork in his new ministry. After coming a number of weeks, we heard Cork speaking every week at communion, saying, This is God's table, it's open to all baptized Christians who are spiritually hungry. And after about a number of weeks, he changed. And he said, This is God's table, open to all who are spiritually hungry. So I went up to him after church and said, was there a change in the theology? Did the denomination make some change that, that allowed this more open table? And he said, no. I just looked out at the congregation and I couldn't say everybody here can come except Dan. So that's what I remember. That was one of our first experiences with Cork. And I think it's emblematic of his whole mission of openness um, and making God's church and God's community available to all of us. Cork, you've been such a wonderful shepherd to this flock. You've held our hands through many uh, sad times and laughed with us when we were in joyous moods. We'll miss you so much. Um, have a happy life ahead. I hope you and Judy have some unprogrammed time now. Best of luck. Goodbye. Well, Cork and Judy, we, we love you. We're going to miss you. And uh, just uh, we wish you the, the best of everything in your retirement. And please come back and see us because we will, of course, miss you. Um, Cork, we'll, I'll miss you. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for me, giving me, trust me, to work at the preschool and serve a church and help me with my lovely children, all the great advice you've given me over the years. And uh, and I know we'll be in touch. Um, Clark, we just want to say goodbye and good luck. And for this church, I think that you, you are the Obama of St. <laughs> Stephen's. You really are the Obama. And uh, hopefully you'll come back and we'll see you. Well, it's goodbye and good luck. And not only are you the Obama, you're the Dumbledore of this church. So. <laughs> Yes, and uh, we're going to miss you a lot, and we hope you come back and visit us sometimes because this church isn't going to be the same without you.